All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his glorious book, Honor your pledges. You will be questioned about your pledges. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that our master Prophet Muhammad is his votary and messenger, who said, The best of Allah's servants are those who fulfill their covenants. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow them till the day of judgment. Islam is the religion of security, peace, righteousness, kindness, and goodness. The fulfillment of one's covenants is undoubtedly a moral and sublime human value, as it builds trust and brings about safety and security among people. With this value, the bonds of cooperation, fraternity, and progress will increase among individuals within the society. This is why the fulfillment of one's covenants is a part of one's faith and a sign of honesty and benevolence. It is a manner cherished by Allah and is also a prophetic trait and an Islamic value. Islam has ordered its followers to adhere to the fulfillment of covenants, promises, and treaties. The Almighty Allah said, Honor your pledges. You will be questioned about your pledges. And he also said, Fulfill any pledge you make in God's name, and do not, take, and do not break oaths after you have sworn them. For you have made God your surety. God knows everything you, you do. These verses mean commit yourselves to fulfill every covenant you have made, whether it is between you and Allah or between you and people. And do not break your oaths once you have sworn them as you have made God a witness over you. He who makes a pledge must honor it and he who makes a promise must fulfill it. The Almighty Allah has told us that those who fulfill their pledges are beloved to him and are the truthful and righteous people. Allah the Exalted said, Indeed, God loves those who keep their pledges and said, Those who keep pledges whenever they make them, those who are steadfast in misfortune, adversity, and times of danger, these are the ones who are true, and it is they who are aware of God. Allah the Exalted showed that those people are the people of great rewards and the people of paradise, as he said, Allah will give a great reward to the one who fulfills his pledge to him. In another verse, the Almighty Allah showed, that, showed this great reward, saying, Those who are faithful to their trusts and pledges, who give honest testimony and are steadfast in their prayer, will live in gardens with honor. The Prophet, peace be upon him, has placed a high value on the fulfillment of one's pledges and warned against breaking them as the betrayal of one's pledges causes corruption in societies and leads to the loss of trust among people. He said, there are three signs of a hypocrite. When he speaks, he lies. When he makes a promise, he breaks it. And when he is trusted, he betrays the trust. The Prophet also said, Muslims have to stick to the conditions they make, except conditions that make the lawful unlawful, lawful, or the unlawful lawful. Also, when the Prophet warned against betrayal, saying, When Allah will gather together on the Day of Judgment, all the earlier and forthcoming generations of mankind, a flag will be raised to mark off every person guilty of betrayal. And it will be announced that this is the perfidy of so and so, son of so and so. Ibn Kathir commented on this hadith saying, the wisdom of this is that the sin of betrayal is invisible to people. So, on the day of resurrection it will be revealed so that people will know what those people did and the Almighty Allah will disgrace them before all creatures. Among the pledges which the Islamic Sharia has commanded us to respect and to fulfill is the pledge of protection. In, modern, in the modern times, it means the permit or visa issued by one country to foreign citizens to grant them access to it as tourists, visitors, or residents, according to the international conventions. Once such a person obtains the residence permit or the visa, 
he receives protection within this state. And this agreement given to him becomes binding upon all of its citizens and residents. It shall not be revoked or altered as per the provisions of the Sharia and the law. Any person from the public who finds any breach that impacts the security of his country must report the case to an authorized person so that the authorized bodies within the state can handle the situation in light of the regulations. Common people have no right to handle the situation by themselves because this would cause chaos and indiscipline. It goes without saying that the fulfillment of one's pledges comes at the top of obligations imposed by the Sharia and the dictations of law, patriotism, and humanity. As Islam has stressed the importance of the protection of pledges, making the pledge given by one Muslim as given by all Muslims, this makes them more binding given that pledges are regulated by both religions and laws. Islam is the religion of preserving covenants and agreements, a religion that does not admit cheating, deception, or betrayal. It has never been proven that the Prophet, peace be upon him, since the beginning of his mission or any of his companions have deprived anyone of safety or broke any promise of protection they had granted to anyone. In this regard, Allah Most High addressed the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, and if you fear treachery on the part of a people, then throw back to them on terms of equality. Surely Allah does not love the treacherous. Also, there was a covenant between Muawiyah and the Byzantines, and he was going to their land to suddenly attack them upon the termination of the covenant. A man came along on his horse, saying, Allah is great, Allah is great. Let there be faithfulness and not treachery. When they looked, they found that this man was Amr ibn Absa. Muawiyah sent for him and questioned him about that. He said, I hear the messenger of Allah say, when one has covenant with people, he must not strengthen or loosen it till its term has come to an end or he brings it to an end in agreement with them. So Muawiyah returned. Not only that, but the greatness of Islam is also crystal clear in Allah's order to his prophet to protect and provide shelter to whoever seeks protection from him, even if he is a polytheist or a combatant. Allah says, and if one of the idolaters seeks protection from you, grant him protection. Then he hears the word of Allah, then make him attain his place of safety. The Prophet, peace be upon him, has actually instilled these noble values both in saying and in action. He is reported to have said, Whoever killed a covenanted non-Muslim shall not smell the fragrance of paradise, though its fragrance can be smelled at a distance of 40 years of traveling. And he also said, The Muslim is the one from whose tongue and hand the people are safe and the believer is the one from whom the people's life and wealth are safe. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, offered the greatest example ever in fulfilling covenants, even with his enemies. Speaking about the Battle of Badr, Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Nothing prevented me from being present at the Battle of Badr except this incident. I came out with my father to participate in the battle. But when we were caught by the disbelievers of Christ, they said, Do you intend to go back to Muhammad? We said, We do not intend to go back to him, but we wish to go back to al Madina." So they took from us a covenant in the name of God that we would turn back to Medina and would not fight on the side of Muhammad, peace be upon him. <clears throat> So we came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and related the incident to him. He said, both of you proceed to Medina. We will fulfill the covenant made with them and seek God's help against them. Accordingly, we affirm that it is our duty to, to keep the covenants and pledges our country abides by towards anyone coming to it. 
and to be cooperative in protecting their blood, honor, property, and privacy. It is also our duty to offer them hospitality in a way that's consistent with the image we want to communicate about the greatness of our religion the, and the glory of our civilization. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. I bear witness that there is no God deserving to be worshipped by Allah, and that our Master Prophet Muhammad is his votary and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his family, companions, and upon those who follow them till the day of judgment. Muslim brothers, Islam is the religion of justice, tolerance, and peaceful coexistence. A Muslim must always be an embodiment of these values. Also, when he travels to another country, be it a Muslim country or otherwise, the permit or visa granted to him by this country is like a pledge of safety, whereby he feels secure and safe and is similarly considered a pledge of safety on his part to the people of that country, by which they feel secure and safe for their lives and properties. Accordingly, he has to abide by the laws of this country and to fulfill his duties honestly and faithfully. He is not allowed to take unlawfully anything from their properties or to commit aggression against their honors or to betray them in any way, so that he would serve as the best ambassador of his religion, country, and civilization. <clears throat> Allah warned against breaking covenants, saying, And those who break the covenant of Allah after its confirmation, and cut that which Allah has ordered to be joined, and make mischief in the land, as for those, upon them shall be the curse, and they shall have the evil of the adobe. In his book, Al-Um, Imam Al-Shafi'i, may Allah be pleased with him, said, when the man enters a non-Muslim country, he is not allowed to take anything from their properties, be it little or much, even if this country was at war with Muslims. That's because as they offered him safety, he in turn shall offer them safety. Impressive are the following lines of poetry. Keeping covenants is the noble's traits and breaking them is of the inferiors. For me, there are no good characteristics but to keep cordiality and covenants. O oh Allah, guide us to the best of manners and make us avoid the worst of them, for you only are capable of this. <clears throat>